Hello. I'm Amanda Carpenter. I'm a fourth year medical student at University of Rochester. Okay. All right, love you, bye. It's my husband, he's on his way here. We're looking for houses. I applied to be a dermatologist. This week we're just waiting to find out where we're gonna match. We've been looking for houses for a while, but it won't matter if we don't match here, so hopefully, hopefully I match here. <laughs> As a fourth year medical student, when you finally have determined which path you want to take in medicine. You apply to all these residency programs, you go through the interview process, and then you rank the programs according to where you'd want to go, your first choice, second, third, fourth, and so on. On the other end, these programs are also ranking their applicants. The National Resident Matching Program is the computer system where the applicants will enter their rank list, the programs enter their rank list, and essentially it's supposed to create the best case scenario for uh, both parties involved, but especially the student. All med students everywhere across the country find out on the same day, at the same time, where they match. So you go down and you open your envelope. It's pretty exciting. Usually there's, there's, there's good tears and occasionally there's a little bit of unhappy tears because there's a little bit of shock as to where the people found out they're going. And you also have a very short window of time to kind of uproot your life. It's, you find out in the middle of March and then usually by the middle of June you're starting intern year. So you really have, what, April, May, like a little under three months to find out where I'm going, find a new house oven range and refrigerator are all included. Heck of a lot more space than we have in our little apartment now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anything, and we can get a dog. <laughs> We've been in Rochester now for five years because I did an extra year. I did the a CTSI, the NIH research year. So we're um, been here for quite a while now. A good portion of our adult life. <laughs> but you're not interested in leaving your job, I take it? Uh, no, not if I can help it. He really loves his job and we like Rochester a lot, so we figure why mess with a good thing if we don't have to. I love the Rochester program, I love the people, the faculty I get to work with, the other residents. We like Rochester, it's, so it's a win-win if we get to stay here, but if we don't, you know, change can be a good thing too. So, When you sign up for the match, you're agreeing that wherever you match, you go, so I think having a lot of us med students are kind of type A, we've done things to try and you know, we have an idea in mind and we try and do the follow through and make it all work out and when you don't have a lot of say in it, it kind of makes it just a little bit of an interesting experience. If the stars don't align, then you know, we'll, we'll make do. Take that as an opportunity to experience some new things. We'll be in a different part of the country than we've ever been and... You know, as long as we're together, I, 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 think, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Welcome everyone to uh, the class of 2012's Match Day. So at noon, as we count down, you can come down, you get your envelope, and you open it wherever you want. Wonderful news. I'm very happy. Still shaking, but I'm happy. <laughs> 